So this has been my three-part Van Cleef Sweet Alhambra necklace extension story. Welcome back to another new video. It took me three and a half weeks to gather all the footages that I need. I thought I was gonna do it in one take, but it didn't happen. So today I present to you a three-part Van Cleef repair story. It's not necessarily like a real repair, it's more of a service. So stay tuned and watch the video all the way till the end. I am currently in Beverly Hills right now. I just got some and next we're gonna go see my friends in different boutiques now. So let's go. A couple weeks ago, I did an unboxing and a review of my Van Cleef bracelet and also the Sweet Alhambra necklace. Um, if you have not watched it yet, definitely the link is going to be here. So make sure you click on it and watch it because this is kind of like the part two, kind of like the aftermath of try on the necklace. So if you guys have watched the video already, you probably noticed that when I tried on the Sweet Alhambra necklace, the fit of the necklace is very tight on my neck and it might look like it fits like a choker style necklace, but when I talk, it just kind of moves along with um, my neck. So it's definitely not the most flattering looking piece and also because I want to wear it more I do want to have a little bit more practicality. So I wanted to have a looser fit So I decided to bring the necklace back to the Van Cleef boutique to check and see if they can you know Add a link to this necklace Basically, I went into the boutique and told them that you know the necklace fits too short on me and See if they can add any additional links on it. So the staff actually told me there is a maximum of two inches as an extension link that you can add to the necklace and obviously I went for the maximum extension because I feel like I could have the versatility to wear it a little bit tighter or wear it a little bit looser and more casual and the service is absolutely free so we just have to like wait like one to two weeks once the link has been added they will contact me the turnaround time is usually anywhere from one and a half weeks to two weeks so I was like yeah, no big deal I can definitely wait finally after one and a half weeks they gave us a call and they told us that the necklace is ready for pickup so I was super excited to go to the boutique and the second time when we went to the boutique it was just as nice and you know we were waiting for the boutique assistant to bring out the necklace and obviously I cannot wait to try so <laughs> How is it looking now? I think it looks good. Is it still moving when I talk? A little bit? I know, right? And after I tried it on, to be honest, I was a little bit shocked because I thought like everything was already arranged and added, everything is perfect and ready to go. But also in the real world, you can understand when mistakes happen. And this time it looks like the jewelry maker didn't really add the extension link, but instead he added an additional hoop to it, which does give you that adjustment of like, you can make it shorter or longer, but the extension wasn't added. The changes aren't drastic, but I just felt like, oh my goodness, like 
it doesn't feel like something that's much looser or it still felt like it's kind of you know holding on to me so I asked my husband to double check and then obviously he said it kind of looks the same so I removed the necklace and then we basically compared it to my Van Cleef pendant that I was wearing because that piece has um, added links as well and I think um, it's also a two inch extension which gave it a lot more room to be worn in different styles and once we compared the sweet alhambra butterfly pendant to the vintage alhambra holiday pendant we noticed that obviously there was nothing added to it even though there is an additional hoop but it doesn't look like the chain has been extended so once we picked that up we decided that we're gonna leave the necklace there and just let them do this work and uh, hopefully we can pick it up in the perfect condition next time luckily the boutique assistant offered to ship the necklace to my home address once it's finished so we agreed to that I mean turn around it's been like another two days the the shipment finally came to me there's another episode which is that whenever they send over a necklace to you they will request a carrier to have signature required as a you know like a guarantee they want to make sure the piece is hand delivered to you personally so the first two attempt like I wasn't home and unfortunately there was no additional option determined by Van Cleef they don't like to drop things off or leave the things in the FedEx office for you go pick it up so they rather really just have that one one-on-one -on -one exchange so I had to wait for the third attempt for them to deliver the necklace which you know on the last attempt we decided to stay at home full day just for the necklace so it's not the most practical thing because the carrier service um, they chose you cannot call them to arrange a time range for them to deliver so we just had to wait all day because things will be delivered before 8 p.m. on the day of and when FedEx came that was really the best news ever because we waited all day for the necklace to be delivered and you know I was super excited that they finally came that means my necklace is finally ready Okay, so I just received the third revision on this necklace and now it's back and it looks like it has been extended and uh, also when the shipment came in, they also attached this in there so that's super cool. And, and if you have watched the video all the way till this point, I assume that you like the video. And if you don't mind, go click the like button underneath. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, this is the perfect time for us to connect. So you can stay tuned to our channel to not miss out on any videos that we upload. Long story short, I believe that the added links are definitely super helpful. I am currently wearing it and I'm going to show you guys in depth of what it looks like up close. Um, I am here now because I want to show you guys what it actually looks like on me now with a close up because as you saw in the previous video clips, you can see that whenever I talk, um, even though I was wearing the longest length, it really would just like make my whole neck shake or make the necklace shake and after like a two inch link has been added to this necklace now i feel a lot more comfortable and then it looks more like a pendant that's hanging instead of like a choker style necklace and uh, because they added an additional two inch link you can also see that you know there are two hoops now so you can adjust the length you want depending on the style you want to wear it so if i want to like pair it and then wear it with my other you know pieces i think we can do this double layering by just wearing on the shorter length okay. <laughs> I am now demonstrating to you what it looks like to wear both of my uh, Van Cleef pendants together and I think if I get this right, they have added one and a quarter inch to the original chain so now you can see that the butterfly one is already a little bit longer and uh, they've added three quarters to the second hoop 
So it's basically an extension, you know. We shouldn't talk about numbers. It's not the best way to understand something, but now at least you can see. I am wearing the butterfly pendant on the shorter link, and I'm wearing my uh, hamburger pendant on the longer link. So you can see that you can still actually pair them together. And uh, the chains are different. The butterfly one, uh, the sweet Alhambra butterfly pendant is actually yellow gold. And my Alhambra one is rose gold. So, I mean, I don't know if you're able to see like the big difference if you don't come up this close. But, you know, overall, I think they do look pairable and they do look good paired together so in case if you're wondering if you can pair them now you know with the add link you're still able to pair them if you wear them on different links all right so overall i still am very happy with the outcome it's just that there was some hiccup in between but I'm really glad that I finally was able to put out this video and share all of the process and experiences with you guys. And if you guys have any other questions that I didn't get to address in the video, feel free to leave it in the comment below and I will try my best to get back to you. And thank you again so much for watching this week's video. I am so happy that it's out and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. So enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.